how to create images for Amazon using AI. Why is this important? How can it make you money? Well, in the past, uh, you know, our only option was to maybe take, you know, rudimentary kind of like ghetto looking images with our phone or something like that, or pay a lot of money if we had it, you know, for professional pictures. That's still what I do, actually. But not everybody has enough money to be able to invest in professional photography right off the bat. Or or maybe we did, but then now we're like, oh man, I, I have this other idea for an image or I want to do this or that, right? Well, that's where AI can come in because AI can help you create different images. Now, there's a lot of different kinds of images that AI can help you with. Now, our AI image generator, let me show you what it can do. It can create main images for your listing. It can also create uh, images in the format of Amazon post, which is a different format than a main image. Uh, you can make a plus logo images, a plus image header images, all the different a plus module types of images you're going to be able to create using this AI image uh, generator. You also would be able to make images that are designed for best viewing on a mobile browser. So what is the uh, process for this? I actually pulled up a listing here of a competitor product, all right? This is a, a coffin shelf that is not my coffin shelf, but uh, I saw a couple of his images and I'm like, you know what? This very well could have been done maybe with AI or maybe he paid a lot of money for this picture. And so like, I'm like, is it possible for me to duplicate this image that this guy has of his coffin shelf on this wall, you know, for those listening to it on, on their phones, I'm trying to describe it here. It's just a picture of a coffin shelf on a gray wall. There's like a, a plant on the ground, um, some books on the table, etc. right? So I just downloaded his main image of his coffin shelf. And then I went ahead and started writing this prompt. So this is the prompt I wrote. Now, what I could have done is I could have just, you know, chosen a theme here and a theme setting, but I, I went to go in and make a, a description. So I put here, hey, the pictured shelf is hanging on a light gray wallpapered wall, uh, includes subtle decorative elements such as a small plant, a few simple artwork on the surrounding wall separately from the main image, all right? Um, I have things such as the product scale. This is the size I want the product to look like in the uh, image. Uh, I could have things like avoid, what, what I don't wanna see in the image. Um, I can choose different st uh, engine models, stability AI or AWS Bedrock Titan. Um, what is the AI style? I, I chose photographic. I could have chosen comic book, digital art, anime, analog film, 3D model, uh, et cetera. And then basically let, let's go ahead and see what happens. You know, I, I didn't put too many details here. Let's hit generate images. All right, here we go. This is what has shown up. I got four images to put. Um, a couple of these are, are pretty decent. I mean, arguably, these images um, are maybe better than what this uh, Amazon seller was using. You know, like this is not a, a good resolution that I'm looking at right here because uh, I'm not zoomed in. But, you know, I, I would almost say it's better than this image that this a uh, best-selling coffin shelf is using right now on their listing. So now if I want to use it, I just go ahead and download this and I can go ahead and upload this to my listing. All my previous images are going to show up down here. This is just scratching the surface and maybe you guys are better at making prompts than me. You can even use ChatGPT to help you make a prompt to generate some higher quality images. But if you're looking to make, you know, take one image and make it in the format for A plus content or Amazon post or, or change out backgrounds, you know, maybe you're doing a holiday theme, uh, you know, for one of your listings and you, and you want to put like some Christmas ornaments or some Halloween things or whatever. Uh, this is a way that you can just do it without having to like have a reshoot. So hope you enjoy using that feature. <music>